last time of year when there's joy all around. Special feeling and it's easily found. Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas with Growing all. up, my parents were the kind of Asian Christians that thought that Christmas was a waste of time, money, and space and like disrespectful to God and the true meaning of Christmas and all that. So I've never really celebrated Christmas. But this year, I've now moved out. I've got my own place. And so I've decided, it was on my vision board actually at the start of the year, that I'm gonna have my first ever proper Christmas with my first tree and decorations and everything. And so here's the footage from the other night when we set up my first ever Christmas tree. It was so exciting with all the decorations and everything. It's so yellow. All right, I should put my Christmas shirt on. Here's this Christmas shirt I bought. <laughs> Guys, it's literally 11.30 at night and it's so hot that I'm in this and like shorts and we still have to have the fan on like full blast. It's so hot. I just want to be like cozy in a sweater and festive. Here is my first ever Christmas tree. I'm actually so excited. This is just a Kmart one. It's a starter tree. You know, you can't go all out for the first one. 50 bucks Kmart tree. <laughs> This is the most Aussie Christmas thing ever. We have mold in our aircon and we finally have someone in to clean it. So now we can finally turn the aircon on without being scared that we're gonna get sick because it is currently over 30 degrees. Welcome to Christmas and summer. Oh God. <laughs> and now I am about to go Christmas shopping. Like obviously I've bought Christmas presents before. School and Secret Santa and if friends give you something, you give something back. But I've never actually gone out with the intent of going Christmas shopping before. So today I'm dedicating a whole day to it, which is so exciting. I have no idea what I'm gonna get for pretty much like anyone, but we'll do a little haul at the end when I'm done. Cue the montage. Hit the bells out, hit the bells from afar. You are the brightest one amongst all the stars. Thinking out. Oh, loud. it's so hot Thinking right now. Out. It's four days till Christmas. Today is the 21st of December, and it's like 30 degrees today. It's also currently raining really hard. Hopefully, that means it will cool down soon. But also, if you hear rain in the background, Sorry, <laughs> but I thought I'd just do a quick little haul of everything I got today because I was out for like five hours. A Chinese lady yelled at me in Chinese because she thinks I stole her spot when I first got there, but I didn't. It was a whole thing. It's so busy this time of the year out. Like I never actually go out because I know it's busy, but to actually experience it firsthand, it was hectic out there. You'd think everything was free. Anyways, let's get started. First thing I got is this wrapping paper. Kind of iconic, it was only two bucks. And it's got Will Ferrell. Second thing I got as a present for someone is this little dog planter. It has a drainage hole in the bottom, but it also has like a plug for it. So you can choose to have it drain or not drain, which is the first thing I look for in plant pots. So. Very cute. The next thing also as a present, I got someone this table lamp. This was on sale. It was, I'm not gonna say how much it was, but it was on a crazy sale and they just moved out. So 
I didn't drop it. And then, because there was a sale, I saw this sunset lamp. There was only one left, so the box was kind of fucked. But I used to have one of these, and then I lost it. And I think it might be at someone's house that I'm no longer on speaking terms with. I don't know, maybe I just lost it, who knows, but either way, I'm probably never getting it back. So I bought a new one. This one's actually even better because it has a remote control, my old one didn't. So excited to test this out. You know, this was where it started going wrong because I started shopping for myself and I was like, oh God, this is not gonna go well for me. I spent way too much money. <laughs> but I also got this big chocolate for a Rocha for someone as a present as well. Oh, and then I also got a smaller one. This is also a present for someone else. And then I walked into Kiki K and this planner was on half price. This is usually 40, but it's only 20. And normally I get the typo ones. Last year I got the Amanda Rachley one. And because of shipping, I spent $130. More than that actually, it was 130 something on an Amanda Rachley planner, which it's a really, really nice planner, but I don't know what the fuck I was on last year because that was an insane amount of money that I definitely don't have to spend again. As much as I wish that I had the denim version of Amanda Rachley's new planner, I simply cannot pay that much for shipping to Australia. So every year I normally get the typo ones, but the typo ones this year kind of suck. I don't know what's wrong with them this year. This is what it looks like on the inside. Very, very cute. A little bit colorful, not too much. It has a little packet of stickers in the back, which is really exciting. And then next thing I got as a present for someone else, I got these three keychains. So there's a dinosaur one and this cute little melody one and this pineapple Winnie the Pooh one and I think they're really cute next thing I got as a present is like really weird if you don't know the context but in my opinion it's like the best present of all I got five boxes of a dollar <laughs> tissue boxes I got five tissue boxes and they were a dollar each and you don't know the context so this seems like a shit gift but trust me this is this is the best one on the list honestly it's the most thoughtful next thing I got also as a gift this bluey planner I mean it doesn't matter we we have a $20 budget for each other but it's this bluey calendar for next year look at those cute patterns it's adorable oh and then I think I filmed this but I found this art store and they had really cute art prints which was not a part of my plan today but I got some cute art prints because I can never say no to really cute art prints for my wall so I got this one it's Haku from Spirited Away this little ramen one this goose one I really like this goose one it's so nice and then this is in a pack of four I'm gonna open it. Oh, and all of this was drawn by Alia. Here's the pack of four. So we have this one, and this one, and then this one, and this one. They're so cute. I'm so excited about this. My walls look really bare, so I love having more art to put on them. Oh, and then they gave me a free tote bag because I asked for a paper bag to put the prints in just in case I squash them. And he was like, here's a tote bag. And I'm like, this is so nice. Thank you. Oh, and then I got two birthday cards because you can never have enough birthday cards on hand. And these were pretty cute. So I got two of them. Second last thing, I got some cookies for my mom. It's hard to shop for my mom. She doesn't want anything, but I think she'll appreciate these cookies. This exact brand, back when I was a kid in Hong Kong, my mom used to take me to piano lessons and I hated piano lessons. But every time at the MTR station, she would get me cookies. And that was my only motivation. And it was this brand and they have it in Australia, but we've never really bought from the Australian one. I think she has the Asian mentality of, it's too expensive, buy it in Hong Kong, you know? We can't buy nice things in Australia. I don't know, Asian parents mentality, but I'm gonna give her some cookies. I think it'd be really nostalgic. I'm also gonna put them in this airtight container because I'm gonna see her tomorrow and I'll give it to her then. There we go. And then the last thing I bought is for myself because I am selfish, but it's the big purchase of the day. I bought a new uni bag. This was $40 off from $100, so it was only $60. I've been needing a new uni bag for a long time now. My current one is actually falling apart, and it was also like $13 or something. I also remember when Luca introduced me to Colette, like the brand, back in 2015, in grade nine. That was the first time that I noticed the brand. And I remember wanting a bag exactly like this, one of these baby bags, but I had no reason back then or funds to get one. And now I have reasons and the funds, and it feels like a full circle moment because that's almost 10 years ago and then now I'm going to have an existential crisis because what the heck. It's this big bag, it's got like metal things on the bottom so it can stand. It has a lot of compartments. It comes with one of these things which I think you can put it on the ground when you don't want to put your bag on the ground and it can rest on top. I'm assuming that's what this is for. It seems a little too fancy for me, I don't think I'll ever use it but it's kind of cool. It'll fit my laptop really nice and I carry a lot of shit to uni so I feel like this is 
sturdy enough for me and I'm so excited about this for the new year and yeah I think that's it now it's time to wrap the presents which I haven't wrapped presents in a really long time so this is so exciting let's do this Sing it for your whole life So let me be your family this Christmas Let this be the season that you've been waiting for Father turns to shooting stars Hold me tight, 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 tight All the dark is